would get an internet. Um, didn't feel like wearing headphones today, and it was in Kitty in my lap anyway, so I can't reach them. Um, uh, we're back with a completely unexplained battle. Um, so last time we had entered the cave that we blasted open with a cannon and discovered that our cannoneer is none other than, none other than Rogue, uh, Rode, uh, blah, blah, blah. Rode, who decided that because of the power of this cannon, he would join us and use this cannon as a vicar. Randomizers are weird. Anyway. Oh, no, you didn't have to get off my lap. Oh, Sun Kitty abandoned my lap for the warmer area of my battery backup. Um, Let's go ahead and take a look at the map. Cool. A lot of blinking red dots. I guess I don't wear the headphones after all. Ba-ba-ba-bum. Oh, I just realized you can't hear. Well, on the plus side, I figured this out early this time. Yeah. For some reason, OBS really doesn't like the fact that I unplug and plug in my microphone. I need to unplug and plug it in because I use it for work. All right, let's take a look at our force. We're all over the place level. Wise. And poor Randolph is still level 1. Ah, uh, tempted to try and rebalance a little bit, but I want to do that after... No, because after this battle is another battle. I'm going to rebalance the force. So, I'm gonna be right back. Hi again. Just wanted to point out how stupid Luke's spell happens to be. He gained Bolt 3 at level 3. That's extremely early and completely useless because he has 4 MP and Bolt 3 costs 20. Thanks, Rack. Just wanted to say that. I'm almost done. Um, Luke and I think... I think it might actually just be Luke of this group. Yeah. Luke, and then I'm going to level up some of the people not in the party. Which, of which I only need to level up Kiwi. Or, sorry, Peter. So, yep, be back again. So we leveled up again, and now I have Detox 4. What? What? I'm yelling at Rack. Ugh. While I'm leveling, I decided you should probably see what Peter's attack actually looks like. That's what Peter Monster looks like, by the way. Complete with rocket jets. He looks more badass when he fire breathes, but, you know. Fire breathing's a random thing and only happens on attack, so... Mm. Anyway. Just wanted to show that. Okay, bye. Alright, and I'm back. Um, I've leveled everybody up to 20, uh, level 4, so one thing I'm going to note, my spreadsheet's going to look a little weird for a while, because what I'm doing is I'm adding 21 to any promoted character's level. Otherwise, things look, yeah, just don't work. So when this actually says, like, Bowie is level 25.49, what I actually mean is Bowie is level 24 with 9 experience. Don't really have a great way of handling it otherwise. So... Um, a few things to note. Let's go ahead and show off our archers. So that's ACHR plus Bowent plus Snip plus Brass Gunner. And these are all of our archers. Now, you'll notice that this includes the two characters that I didn't end up grabbing, so they're going to be level 24, and everybody else who's very similar level outside of May. But you can start seeing the difference between the Bow Knights and the Brass Gunners, because look at that attack. May is the same level... Right, May is two levels higher than either Slade or Chester, and May has the highest attack... had the highest attack of the Archers before, but now Slade has the same attack bonus, and... I'm just gonna move this over here, it makes it easier for me. And Chester now has one attack higher. Um, 
Yeah, I just realized that I forgot to remove agility. Who has the agility one right now? Uh, Randolph's the one with the agility one. Okay, I'll drop five agility on him in a moment. Um, so yeah, the archer situation's interesting, and I'm very happy that I am not using Kazin. Look at Kazin's stats compared to Elric, for instance. They're both snips. Kazin has nine fewer hit points, two less attack, three less defense, three less agility. Why should I use Kazin? Other than because I want five archers for some reason. In heck, compare that to one of these two, and keep in mind, Kazin's using a better weapon. Um, he's not very far off of Tyrin, stat-wise. Kazin's a level higher, promoted with a better weapon. Once more, why would I use Kazin? Um, let's go ahead and throw on the melee characters. So that's bird brains, barons, uh, monster, ninja, wolf baron. Yeah, it should be everybody. So let's go ahead and, so these are our melee characters. And first off, um, I am not at all regretting dropping Peter. Look at Peter's defense versus Janet's. So they're the same level. Peter has two more defense, and Peter's supposed to be the super high defense character. Janet has 35 hit points more, plus 24 extra attack, and um, 11 extra agility. They actually have, or Peter actually has more movement, if I remember right. Let me double check that really fast. Peter's movement is seven, yeah. So Peter actually has more movement than Janet. Since Janet is down at six, but it's still, why, why? And then let's compare the rest of the melee characters. So all four melee characters that I have in my party are the same level. And Sarah's actually one level higher, but take a look at Sarah's stat line versus, say, Luke's stat line. Sarah has five more defense, which is very nice. Luke has five more hit points, any MP at all, three extra attack. Uh, I mean, it's kind of debatable between Sarah and Luke. It's nowhere near the Kazin situation. But take a look at our defenses now. We now have two tanks in the party, which is new for us. Uh, Randolph is interesting because Randolph doesn't use a weapon, so I'm suspecting this to grow quite a bit faster. Um, I'm honestly wondering if I should have Sarah or Randolph. Keep in mind, Sarah's one level higher, so the stats are going to be slightly off. Uh, other than that, Bowie's defense is terrible. I mean, I think he's actually among the worst in the party on defense. Let's see, I have archers at lower defense. Yeah. Um, and of course, these goobers have low defense, but that's because they're unpromoted and level lower. Yeah, I have an archer with lower defense. One archer. Other than that, I have a priest that's tied on defense. Admittedly, that priest is nearly tough in levels higher, but still. This is absurd. These stats are nuts. And yes, this time I am going to remember to turn off Excel. All right, let's move that out of the way, keep the mouse out of the way, and let's continue playing. Oh, um, in case if you didn't see, we have our spells for our Luke Ninja, which is Bolt and Detox for some weird reason. I, okay, I think Rec may have made a mistake in what levels to assign things to people, because I definitely shouldn't have Bolt 3 this early. I mean, for a frame of reference, Jaha has Bolt 2 at this point, and Jaha is an actual offensive mage. I'm not going to complain, it's not like he can cast it anyway. I'm going to swap my characters back, where, you know, I have the correct party again. Oh yeah, and Road is still terrible. I'm, just, I'm not going to bother ever taking Road. I'll keep them leveled, but why? Why? Just why? I mean, 
he's a worse Vicar. Right? For one, Vickers were supposed to have Aura. If Road had Aura, I could actually see using him, but he doesn't. At all. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to do was start using some of my stat increasing items. So we have the Running Pimento. Running Pimento adds plus one movement speed, which is very nice. We have Cheerful Bread, which adds hit points. We have Bright Honey, which adds MP. We have Power Water, which adds attack. And we have Quick Chicken, which adds agility. Um, running Pimento is probably the best power-up item in the game, in my mind. Reason being is that increasing somebody's base movement speed is awesome. We also get two of them. I'm just loading up on all of the items. Oh yeah, we need to move the power uh, protect ring out of Kazin's inventory because he's never going to use that. We're never going to have it equipped. And finally, we need to actually grab that last ring that I forgot about way back when. So first off, before I forget, protect ring, we're going to give that to Bowie. Bowie is going to probably just keep it equipped at all times. Other than having to level people up. Okay. Next up, um, we're going to enter the random battle. So, fun fact about these random battles, if you run away from them, they don't necessarily respawn. So, there's an... Since we're right next to where we're going, when we egress, we just egress, walk back out again. Also, I don't know why I keep teleporting to here. I have definitely been to a priest more recently than that. Not sure what's going on that. Anyway, we're grabbing the running ring. Because how dare I? How dare I? I'm going to save state here so I don't accidentally trigger that random encounter because I don't want to deal with it. Good. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's inevitable, isn't it? Fine. I will enter, talk with the priest here, then leave. Ah, the things I do for this game. Welcome. Your desire will be fulfilled. Save. Okay. Done Kitty's staring at me again. He was on my lap. Again. All right, can we leave here without a random battle, please? Oh, maybe I should just, you know, pause the recording yet again, actually do this, then continue. Nope, okay, we're good. At least until the next random battle point. The cave doesn't. Uh, caves do not have random battles, oddly enough. It's just outdoor regions. Let's see. What else to talk about? Okay, good. About dang time we don't trigger one of those. Also, I'm trying to be better about keeping the mouse off. My apologies for that before. Okay. This is where the running ring is. There we go. Okay. So we want the running ring on somebody who has problems reaching the front. And that's probably going to end up being somebody who's in the back and doesn't have much in the way of movement speed. Item, give. Just a running ring. Which is going to be Randolph. Unfortunately, oh, that's right. I forgot to remove Randolph's agility. Okay. Unfortunately, Randolph also needs agility, but I'd rather have the running ring. See? 
Running ring increases movement by two. And I could use the pimento on Randolph, but I don't know how long I'm going to use Randolph. I might find somebody better. I'd rather use the running ring. Whereas the pimento is going to be used on somebody I know for a fact I'm going to keep in my party forever. Okay, so it's save state time. Because these also give random stat increases. Other than the pimento. Pimento is always plus one movement. So let's see. Jaha has five. Slade has five. Kiwi has five. Although they're unpromoted, so I don't want to use it on them. Gerhalt has five. That's not a terrible one to use it on. Rick has five, but again, unpromoted. Other options would be using it on somebody that I... Um, I could just use it on Bowie, actually. I mean, having a flyer with even more movement speed is not exactly a terrible plan. I've had one game where I ended up with a flyer with nine movement. That was my flying Pegasus, and... Ah... Enlarge by two. I didn't think that was random. Okay. I'm not going to complain. So now his movement is eight. Let's go ahead and use the cheerful bread. So that's hit points. Who can use more hit points? Of the people who I'm actually going to use. Sorry, Peter. You know what? Honestly, Bowie. Max increased by three. What is the range on this, anyway? Max increased by three. So I'm also planning on using Protect Milk on Bowie. Oh, I don't have any Protect Milk? Oh, whoops. Bright Honey is going to end up being used on Luke. Luke, MP are raised by four. Four is a good number in my mind. So I'm going to save state that. Cheerful Bread, Bowie. Uh, looks like it's just going to be three. It's not the worst. It's not like it got increased by one, which is... Happened to me before. Uh, um, attack. I would like to use attack on somebody who's going to be doing lots of attacks. I'm thinking a brass gunner, of which I only have one. Attack by four. Quick Chicken, which is Agility, uh, also Brass Gunner, also four, and let's see if the bread is still three. Nope, four, okay. Fours are good. I'm okay with fours. I think that's all of the items that I'm going to use. I know there's still the Power Apple, and I don't want to use the Power Apple. Okay, let's go ahead and egress. Get ourselves back to, you know, somewhere reasonable. Maybe there's only one running pimento and it increases it by two rather than two running pimentos and increase it by one like what my memory was telling me. Entirely possible. Also, the stupid mouse cursor again. I'm going back to New Grand Seal to save. Well, not raise. Nobody's dead. I always have more desires. Hmm. 
This is also the point where I'm starting to think maybe I should promote Kiwi. Although Kiwi is very close to leveling again. So I'm planning on promoting Kiwi to be a Master Monk. And the reason for that's really simple. I can. Nothing else to it. Just that I can. Um, Kiwi has a massive amount of MP compared to um, Rick. I mean, yes, Kiwi is nine levels higher, but not nine levels higher. Kiwi is seven levels higher. But Kiwi also has 11 extra MP. So I would rather Kiwi be the one that takes the MP hit and then Rick be the one to get more MP from being a vicar. Hmm. Maybe I'll reconsider that. I mean, Rick also has a far lower hit, uh, far lower attack and even lower defense. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with our usual boost. Yeah, we'll hit the lower ones. Boost. I guess I can switch back to using headphones. Ah, Jaha leveled up to 35. Hit points 2, MP 2. Attack 1, Defense 1, Agility 2. Nice level. Uh, Gerhalt. So you just did that cross. Uh, item. Spell. Boost! More boosting. Sorcerers look so awesome. Halt leveled up level 7. Hit points 2, MP 1, Defense 1, Agility 1. Learn the new spell, Egress. Yes. Because remember, I had to re edit Gerhalt's leveling because he was never going to get most of his spells. Because of the way it was phrased. He would have eventually gotten Dao. Or Dao would have leveled up for sure, but he would have eventually gotten a different spell. I don't remember which one it is now. This is a terrible idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Oh right, I forgot. That's an even worse idea. His speed is so much higher that I have to be a little careful about how far I move. Anyway, um, what was I saying? You're actually relatively squishy, oddly enough. Um... Darn it, I've completely lost what I was saying. Level 35, HP 1, MP 2, Attack 2, Defense 2, Agility 1. Nice level. Maybe I should let you level to 40. More snippy action. Ooh, is that Dark Bishop? I didn't actually check to see. Oh, we got a treasure chest that we can investigate. Yep, that's a Dark Bishop. That might actually be the boss of the floor. More skelly bros. Another lesser demon with that boost too that they'll never use. No, that's the boss of the floor. It's a dark soldier. Has 72 attack and 46 defense. So the attack's actually lower than a lesser demon, which is good. Lesser demons hurt. And far lower than a dark sniper. Interesting how much lower that Dark Sniper is. I guess it's about to be replaced. Anyway, the Dark one is definitely the replacement for... Whatchamacallit, um... Skeletons. Mean. Can you even cast any of your spells? Yes, you can cast Bolt 1 and Detox 3. So, Detox is not a very useful spell. What it does is it removes status effects. And 
The difference between Detox 1, Detox 2, and Detox... Alright, the difference between Detox 1 and Detox 2 is range. Just like Cure 1... or Heal 1 can heal 2. Detox 3 cures all except for one status effect in the game. Or that might actually be all status effects in the game, now that I think about it. Detox 4 has an even longer range and cures all status effects in the game. There is one status effect that regular Detox 3, I don't think cures now i need to remember and it's gonna be a long time before i'll actually find out for real so that status effect is much later in the game i'm gonna snip my luke the ninja Blunk. you hit me for 12 i will kill you thank you come again Hmm. Priest. Priest, heal! Because you need to level up more. I totally want to see what you look like as both a Master Monk and a... Uh... Uh... Other thing. Uh... Vicar. Attack. For seven. Cool. Oh, also, if you'll notice that I actually f corrected... Uh, Randolph's appearance. So, I... That's right. That was something I wanted to talk about. So, I wanted to talk about the sprites. So, I'm able to change the avatar sprites pretty easily. Um, Training Force 2 edit does, in fact, have the ability to change avatar sprites. All I need to know is which is the correct one and change it from there. So, it's basically sprite and color palette. Um, that's the reason why Luke looks so evil is that his color palette doesn't actually exist and it's stepping into RAM. Which, it looks cool. I'm okay with this. Um, I even be able to boost anybody here? Yes. Yes. Totally worth it. Boost! Anyway, um, what I can't figure out how to do is change the avatars, because the creator of Shining Force 2 edit, which I believe is Big Nail Cow, um, doesn't know how. Oh, it's got to be somewhere in RAM, but we don't know where. So, if I want to do something like that, I'm going to have to learn. Yeah, let's move there, please. Uh, Dow. Dow. I could just take out that. Uh, yeah, let's just take out the Skelly Bro. Ooh, nice crit. Yay, herb. I only get 20 XP from it, though, so I should probably stop trying to level up Gerhalt. At least on those dubs. Yes, two attacks. Nice, Bowie. Good job. A+. Plus. Hail! Get all snippy. Although you're actually a higher level snip. I'm going to wait for somebody else. I can't reach with that somebody else, so you're going to just move there. Randolph can attack, though. I'm okay with Randolph attacking. So this is what Randolph's attacks look like. I think it looks pretty cool. I really like Wolf Barons. This is where the comment of um, getting really hairy comes from. It's because you're supposed to be a Wolf Baron. Anyway, um, Envy, there's really hairy guys. That's the quote. Oh, I didn't realize I was in range of that. Whoops. Ow. He needed healing anyway. Now he just needs more. So, I really, I still don't really like the cave type of battles. Just because it's too... Right, you're a baron, you're not a brass gunner. I need to keep remembering that. Um, the reason why I don't like them is that they're too... Uh, 
restrictive. And it's not really, hey, look, I don't know how to strategize so much as, hey, look, I'm going to penalize the player for not constantly checking to see where the enemies are. It's not like I can't. I mean, if I only had the ability to see around my characters, that would be a different story. That could actually be really cool. But that's not what's going on here. Nice. Good job, Elric. Also a level. No attack increase. Oh boy. Heal. Bonk. Yes, please. Attack the Baron. You hit me for five. I think I can take five. Uh, the Snip, on the other hand, might have a rough day. Okay, that's not too bad. Yay for being boosted. Ooh. At least I can't be triple attacked. Alright. Jaha. I'm pretty sure all of them are boosted, aren't they? Boosted, 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 not boosted. There's literally one person not boosted. Welp, you're getting boosted. You know what? You're high enough level. Why don't you just stay behind? Go ahead and finish off that snip. Snippity snip. Ooh, max XP two. Attack two, or attack one, defense one, agility one. No MP though. That's sad. Oh yeah, I forgot. He has Canton. He could have actually done a good job on. Uh, yeah, you're going to heal three. Elric. Won't heal all the way, because that would only be 40. Or that'd be 39, not... Or that'd be 40 hit points of healing. Ugh. Can't speak. By the way, I've had a pretty bad day. It's part of the reason why I'm playing this. Because this is a calming, relaxing game for me, believe it or not. Why are you so far back, Slade? I just boosted you. May, please finish off that other one. You did with one hit point. Why did you do that? Oh well. Stabbing's time. Swoop. See, I don't understand why the arrow is coming out from below where you're aiming at. So, when you're holding a bow, the arrow is here, not here. Whatever. Randolph. Numb. Thank you, Randolph. Okay, Randolph leveled. Hit points 3, attack 2, defense 2, agility 1. Nice. Okay, what does my map look like? There's two people over to the left. Does this area even connect? Yes, it does. Okay, so we've got a demon and an archer. Well, because of the demon, I have to watch out for getting blazed. Don't suppose you happen to have a medical herb or something? No, you have a healing drop. I don't want to waste that much. I'll just put you there. That's a good plan, because now I can heal one you. Or 
soldiers on the move. Cool. I am one move off of being able to attack it. That's nice. I'll just move there. And a boost! I don't know if they've already all been boosted. I don't know who has things expired and who doesn't at this point. Okay, Elric had one up and so did Janet. Okay. I gained 10 XP it's for two... MP, that's not too bad. This will be much nicer once I have boost two, which I don't even know when I'm going to get boost two. This might be two or three. Three at best. Nope. I boosted myself. Cool. I have somebody injured. I'd rather waste MP, oh, it's not a waste. I'd rather spend MP on somebody injured than wasting MP just to level myself more. Mm -hmm. Rick really needs more MP. Maybe I should have given him the MP boost now that I think about it. Oh well, bit late now. I'm trying to get my brass gunner to catch up. I'm not doing a good job at it, mind you. I'm just trying. Hey, <sighs> no. Oh, archer on archer action. Got it. Ow. These people are weak, too. That's the bad... Oh, dear. I just noticed that I'm within Skelly Bro range. Yep. Blaze 3. Okay, let's make sure I'm actually in Skelly Bro range. Your movement is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I'm not actually in Skelly Bro range. Okay, that's good to know. Wolf Baron, go numb on that Dark Sniper, please. That should lure the Skelly Bro to go after the Wolf Baron if I remember the AI scripting, right? No. Interesting. Maybe I wasn't actually in range because of the difficult terrain. I am too far away. But I can boost people. Which is not a terrible plan, I suppose. Boost! Okay, this was a terrible plan. It did absolutely nothing. I gained one XP, yay! Um, no. Jaha. Sorry, Jaha, you're not going to be making attacks. Lesser Demon attack! Thunk. Neen, neen. Good job, Luke. A plus. Snip. I don't know why I make all of these sound effects, by the way. I would rather the Bow Knight attack. Apparently just wasting all my good magic. Oh, 
and you should heal Bowie. Bowie's down 20, go ahead and heal back up 15. That sounds acceptable to me. Wonder where my protect milk is. Did I sell it? I might have sold it. Ugh. Damn it. Why did you get to go twice in a row and I didn't? As usual, Slade can't reach any height. I even boosted him, dang it. Oh, this might be bad. Yay, boost. I'm pretty sure boost is the only reason why that character is alive. Okay. That skeleton's going to go and kill something. I think I can kill the skeleton. Let's find out if I'm right. I'm right! Hooray! HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. Decent level up. And Dark Sniper, go away. Probably could have had Slade take care of it now that I think about it. Let's go ahead and save state. Lesser demons don't like cold, right? Eh. I know Bowie is already affected. Oh, I forgot May was the other one. Whoops. I'm doing great. I'm paying attention. Again, rough day. May, are you capable of finishing that one off? Yes. Yes, you are. Nice. 47 XP. That means that you're approaching the level that you no longer gain XP from. All right. Who needs... He you need healing, right? Yeah, you need healing badly. But I'm just going to heal you 15 twice. So I can conserve MP. Boost expired. Oh no. Well, dang it, I still can't reach you. Oh well. You'll just have to go toward the rear. Okay, let's take a look at the map now. Okay, so I'm gonna use the mouse cursor intentionally this time. So my plan is to go this way, hit that chest, then go around. There's only six enemies left. This should be easy. The only hard ones over there. So let's go take these goopers out first. You're also injured. I forgot about that. There we go. I should have moved over to one, I just realized. That way I could shoot through the rock, because this makes sense to use an arrow that goes through rock. Could do this. It's not the worst idea. It's not a great idea, mind you, but it's not the worst. Thump. Ooh, nice crit. Good job, Bowie. Yeah, because otherwise I could uh, attack from here and hit there. Oh well, not doing that now. How close are they to there? They're not that close. Although that one flies, and that has me a little worried.
There we go. You get to attack Slade, yay! By firing nukes. This makes sense. Yay, Slade gets XP. That's good. I'm probably gonna promote Chaha soon. I mean, yeah, more levels equals more stats, but his stats are pretty dang good as it is. Other than attack, of course, but, well, bad equipment, and he's a mage. I don't care about his attack. I need more beverage. This is probably gonna be my only video of the night, because I have to edit this one together, because I accidentally hit stop instead of pause for that first part. Oh. I have a bunch of healed pe or people that need healing, right? Yeah. Heal, bonk. The other one. You're the other one that needed healing, right? Yep. Bonk. Okay. This is gonna hurt. Yay, boost. Would have hurt a lot more if I wasn't boosted. I mean, where else are you going to get my sound effects at, anyway? Hmm, didn't move. Interesting. I could bolt one! That's not enough damage! Office level six. Two, 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 one. So, for the characters that don't have weapons, the thing that you need to look for is getting blasted. Um, the thing that you need to look for is somebody who's gaining more than two attack on a level up. The reason being is that you don't have a weapon, so you're not getting both the level up stat bonus and also the weapon upgrade bonus for progressing on in the game. I think that's the last enemy on this side, but I'm double checking. Yes, okay. Which means this is relatively safe for me to do. Chop. Relatively. It'll be fine. Um, priest. You can he finish healing Chester up. Reach, which is unfortunate. All right, I'll be able to get May. But have you heard the good word about boost? It's a very good word. favorite words, in this game at least. A boost. Nuke him. Oh, you only need to do two more damage, Slade. You did so well, though. So well. I would prefer to use a lower level snip. Like one of the fives.
you need to go back and get healed. You did good, Randolph, though. You're still not moving. That's more than just slightly scary. Randolph has a lot of hit points, too. Mm. I mean, the whole reason why I have Randolph is because I wanted a tank. And let's be honest, Pierre is not acting like a very good tank for us right now. And I don't really care that much about Peter. I can only boost one person this turn. I have but one life to boost. Alright. Uh, who is injured significantly? I know that um, Randolph is. I'm just trying to see if there's anybody else injured still. Bowie's injured, isn't he? Yeah, Bowie's really injured. Let's go ahead and give Bowie a full heal. So Bowie's down 29, so... And I really don't want to lose the battle because Bowie got knocked out. Well, HP 2, MP 1, Attack 2, Defense 2, Agility 2. A really nice level. Good job, Kiwi. Boosted? No. You're not either. You are. You're not. I can't get to a good boosting position, but I can get to a decent one. No, not Egress. Not Dow. Boost. And that'll get me two at least. Oh, Gerhalt's not boosted. Okay, so it gets me three. That's decent. Poor Slade. Uh, maybe I should have equipped the running ring on him. Heal up Randolph some more. Bonk. This is going to be a long video, isn't it? I don't know how long the first section was, because I didn't look. Actually, I could probably look really easily while I'm doing things. Uh, Luke. Okay, where exactly is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That is a safe move, most likely. And it will almost certainly wake them up inside. Good old Randolph. I woke up, not in the direction I was expecting, but sure. Can you come after me? No? Okay. I will just prep some more. Get people into better position. Can I even heal anybody that needs it right now? I can heal myself. Yeah. Yeah, I'll heal Randolph. Randolph's more likely to actually need it. It's time. Let's see if this is a monster in the box. Search. Bowie found fairy tear. Bowie's hands are full. Well, poop. I mean, I can just loot it again. That's not a big deal. But that also means it's not a monster in the box.
Did I lure them out? Almost in range. It's kind of impressive, actually. Yes, I am intentionally wasting Kiwi's MP. Should have just had Kiwi heal herself. Oh well. You're just gonna hang up there. Hang up? Hang out. I could get magic. It's fine. level so I hang back further could do that that's a terrible idea terrible Randolph has hit points and defense. That makes him twice as good as other tanks. I cannot hit anybody that needs healing. So Kiwi, congratulations on your heal. You finally get it by getting bonked by somebody else. That doesn't sound right. Rick, HP, MP, defense, agility. Yeah. I don't really need attack on Rick. And you're going to blast Janet. Okay. Magic on the tanks is not necessarily a terrible strategy for the AI. But the real question is, have you heard the good word about boost? I don't really want to or need to boost the mages, to be honest, but, oh well. I mean, Kiwi still has one more heal left, so it's not terrible. Okay, I'm going to attack from this side. Because Bowie probably can't take much of a hit from the uh, Dark Dwarf. Janet, go ahead and get some more heals with a Z. Gerhalt. I believe you need to preach the word. Finally can use my freaking brass gunner. Still not dead. You leveled though. HP 2. Attack 1. Defense 3. Agility 1. I mean, they are in tanks. That kind of makes sense. Weaken. Thank you. HP 2. Attack 1. Defense 1. Agility 1. Okay. HP 1, defense 2, agility 2. No attack again. Okay, who actually needs healing? And I think it's just Randolph at this point, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Might as well.
chunk. So Randolph has more, whatchamacallit, um, more XP slash higher level. So I wanted Janet to be able to kill the Dark Bishop. Wow, Janet could have almost one shot at the Dark Bishop. Good job, Janet. Not used to Janet actually being useful. It's a strange experience. That's fine. I'd rather you closer. Ow. That hurt. Neen, neen. You're probably dead now, aren't you? Nope, not quite. Okay. Only 17 XP, though. Unfortunate. Spread the gospel some more. You can't do much. I'm just going to move you back. Could have Grahalt kill it. Don't want to. Bowie killing it on the other hand is worth it in my mind because Bowie's level 5. What is the force composition that I have right now on levels? 5, 7. Luke is still 4, but Luke's already gone. Janet's still 4. I could have Janet kill it. Just box it in a low... No, I'm not going to box it in with Bowie. That's a bad plan. That works. Slice, dice. And that means Janet will level up. HP 2, attack 1. Defense 3, Agility 2. Yes. Alright. Let's go grab that fairy tier, because yes, please. So fairy tiers are a very rare and very special item. What they do is a full MP restore. So I'm going to give that to Kiwi because Kiwi's the person that's almost certainly going to need it. I mean, I guess it could be worse. It could be somebody with aura. Anyway, we are going to save and walk outside, which means it's going to be another random encounter, if I remember right. Or no, wait, no, we can go to town first. That's right. Town is right before the random encounter. Welcome to North Parmesia. Village of Keto. Church is closed, though. Keto is on the southern edge of North Parmesia. Matula ignores you! Hmm, something seems to be going on with Matula. Where'd you come from, boy? From South Parmesia? Really? The tunnel to the south is blocked. I know, I just came through there. No weapon or item sales, devils. So, the devils must control this place. Hey, listen to me. No. Oh, sorry. Don't want to bother you. Oh, healing water. Nice. You again. Bye now. Did I actually mess that up? I might have accidentally messed that up. Nope. Okay. Blast. I hate devils. Ah, are you a customer? Wow! It's a secret, okay? I have very good weapons. Hee <laughs> hee! You wanna buy one? Oh, you do? Okay, come to my shop. <laughs> What's up, boy? It's the only shopkeeper in the game that is not that sprite. So, these are all the standard healing items. They will never change again. Oh yeah, do we have any deals that I care about? No. But weapons, on the other hand, I might. Uh, well, I still don't have any knights. Uh, Indra Staff. 
Wasn't there something weird about the Indra staff? I want to say that there is. No, it's the Guardian Staff. Notice that defense goes down. So the Guardian Staff actually gives a bonus to defense. The Indira Staff does something else, I want to say. Indra Staff. Indra Staff. Indra Staff. Yeah. So the Indra Staff allows you to steal an enemy's MP. So what I frequently do is have both weapons available to somebody. Oops. Didn't want to talk to you yet, sorry. Because stealing MP is incredibly handy as a mage, if I do say so myself. So many medical herbs for some reason. I keep picking them up from enemies. Oops. Give. I also want my priests to have one. Maybe I should just sell the medical herbs now I'm looking at it. Although it's not going to give me much of anything. And priest. Let's move the angel wing to somebody else. Uh, we'll give it to me. Jaha's got space. Yeah, that should be sufficient. The part that I don't remember is if I have to have it equipped for doing it. No. Give one to Jaha. I mean, it's just money. I can get more money. That's not as big of a deal. Um, give one to Kiwi. And then give one to Rick. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm a little poor now. You know what? I'm going to go sell those extra things. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a long video. I'm already over an hour on this recording. Never mind anything else. Okay. I don't really need Fairy Powder anymore. So Fairy Powder is a Dispel... Or not Dispel, um, Detox. And I don't particularly need it. Yeah, I know the Healing Herb's not going to sell for a significant amount of money. It's more getting out of my inventory. And now that I have two people with egress, I'm not as concerned about having angel wings either. Especially since I'm not uh, caring about whatchamacallit, um, people dying. Speaking of, I should probably check to see how people are doing on the whole deaths thing. That should work. How are people doing on that, anyway? Zero defeats. Zero defeats. Zero defeats. Zero defeats. Zero kills and defeats. Two defeats. Three defeats. Three defeats. Four defeats. Zero defeats. Zero defeats. Two defeats. Zero defeats. Four defeats. Five defeats. Two defeats. Anyway, let's continue checking out the other side of town. And then we will stop and exit. You doubt the punishment? Devils. I found bright honey. Isn't that also... Wait, isn't that... That's the MP increasing item, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yep. 
His max MP are raised by four. Okay, that is fine. Thanks, darn it, I'm gonna make those actually useful things. Don't go out or you'll be punished, devils. Devils forbade us to go out. Travels. Oh, this person was a traveler that went to villages and towns. Did I actually talk to you already? That's unusually, uh, unusually hot. Is Machula sick? Yes, I have heard. So yes, there appears to be something up with Machula. We will have to investigate another time. More signs. Don't work. Pekalon will never come to save you. There's apparently a location called Pekalon. From South Parmesia? Why did you come here? Pekalon has become isolated since we opposed the devils. If I were you, I'd leave. No praying today, devils. So yeah, if you walk in the church, there's nobody there, but there's obviously a priest right here. Sorry, I can't open my church for you. Please understand. Welcome! Your desire will be fulfilled. Let's go ahead and save, and then we will stop for that. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time, okay? Bye!